took away from the train break. You can blame it on the tank or the disrespect. If you play better, button check. Button check. What is up, Butt Check family? Welcome back to yet again a beautiful day of checking these buttons. Of course, it's the weekend. We done made it, and we got a lot to talk about. We got stuff happening today, which we'll probably cover tomorrow. And of course, we got the absolute happening tomorrow. We got the first millionaire of the FGC, of the Street Fighter world, that's going to be crowned on tomorrow night. Anyway, like I said, we got these buttons, so chapters down below, sub button right there. You already know the time. Without further ado, let's go. All right, now into the first set of Capcom Cup highlights, right? We finally have some elimination and we know who's going to compete for that $1 million as of last night. So we're going to cover it right now. Beforehand, we got some important words. We got Knuckle Dude, right, coming up. Uh, who else? We got Mena representing with this whole damn family. Oh, my, I've never seen support like that. Either way, we're going to cover it, and we're going to line it all up. Let's go. I am joined with the first ever Street Fighter V Capcom Cup champion and, of course, my brother, Knuckle Dude. This is Fire Fuel by Pagoda. So it's like they're spin off of hot ones, right? Now, Knuckle Dude, before we get into these questions, we do gotta go ahead and make sure we dab up some of these good pagoda egg rolls. Okay. Sound good? Yeah, yeah. And you wanted to go with the hottest sauce, right? Yeah. Knuckle Dude. He's like, yeah. As I brought up, you are, of course, the first ever Street Fighter V Capital Cup champion. <clears throat> he was now the first you got one. The potential to do the same he thing was the with first. Street Fighter VI. Yeah, I mean, all of a sudden, I'm gonna try to be the, the first one of, of this. Uh... <laughs> this is spicy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done this. That's spice on you a little bit. <laughs> okay, let me try again. Yeah, in a game like this, and I feel like, because I watch boxing a lot, so when boxer, when I hear coaching, uh, boxing coaches say, like, you got to let your hands go, mm. I feel like we run into the same situation in tournaments where, like, we're just so scared to press anything because we're scared of the, the consequences. You know, the game's so volatile. Mm. But you had to you had to fight. You had to you had to run your plays. You had to throw JP. And, yeah, that's how champions are made. You got to... That's what's up. You got to fight even though you're scared. That's what's up. The man said you got to fight even though you're scared. He was like, I take the advice that I hear in boxing. You got to let your hands go. We hear that a lot, right? That's what's up. That's good advice. In la Not in just fighting games, but in life as well. Here's one of the reasons I want Knuckle to win. Not because I've basically seen the dude come up in the FGC. I remember when he first appeared. Anyway, I, he did an interview. If you guys are not familiar, we actually covered this. I want to say it was like a month ago or something like that. He... After he qualified, he said, I'm going to share this with you guys, and it's a little embarrassing, but I'm going to share it because it might help somebody out here. He was like, when you win this big prize, whoever becomes the millionaire, right, even if you're in second or third, pay your taxes. He was like, real talk, the first time or when I won, I didn't pay my taxes. He literally said, I was young. I wasn't thinking, I just did what I did, you know. I think some of it he actually made some, some good investments, but besides the fact, he didn't pay his taxes, and now he says he owes the IRS like over $140,000. I never paid my taxes, so now I owe the IRS $140,000. Good God. Every month, every month is $900 interest, every single month. So, you know, it's like chucking a bucket of water at a wildfire. So for the young people in esports in general, do not be like me. Don't, you know, like money isn't infinite. There's highs and lows. Pay your damn taxes. <laughs> Something like that, right? And he's like, I can't even catch up. It's like anytime I pay the interest just keeps going, he's in debt like a ton to the IRS. So he's like, I'm just sharing this with y'all because I feel like it's gonna help somebody out there. That's what's up. That's part of the reason why I'm going for do. He's a family man. He's a great guy, man. He's, I love Gal. He loves Gal. He needs, to pay, he needs to pay off this IRS money. Yo, what better way to do it than to win the Capcom Cup for the second time, which, by the way, would put him neck and neck with Mena because Mena got to two times. If Knuckle could pull it off this time, he'll have it twice as well. I mean, that's how I'm seeing it. We even have Mama RD back here. Look at of this. Of course, the sister. And you got the whole family, man. A beautiful thing to see. And bro, I don't know if we have seen this level of support from a community, this many people traveling to another country to support their player at Capcom. He got Cup, his man. mama, his sister. What does having them here mean to you? His and how feels, you play his tias, they got a barbecue in the back. I'm assuming some type of added pressure, man. You're such an inspiration for everybody back home. Rob, let me tell you something, man. There's no way a kid playing Street Fighter, a kid playing video games from a small neighborhood called Maria Auxiliadora was gonna think about seeing not only him in LA fighting a world championship, but also his family, his friends, 
mad people supporting him. You know, my mother is watching me play Street Fighter. And when I started this, none of us even dreamed about watching USA or touching USA. And now we're here together as a family fighting for a world championship and doing what I love. I feel like there's this blessing is this is the biggest blessing I can ever receive in my life, honestly. That's what's up, okay. man. That's what's up. They got the flag and in the back. Last but not least, Amanda R.D., of course, we know where you're from as far as the Dominican Republic, but you are also from the FGC in general. This tournament right here, so many of us could not have imagined somebody playing for $1 million. It's unbelievable. What has, real, uh, can man. you just speak to, uh, speak to the significance of this for the FGC in general? It's uh, it's beautiful to see. This is our, you know, part of a big team working. And, and me being here, it's not only about the VR anymore. When I came out, it felt like that. I had that chip on my shoulder. And I realized, you know, if I, if I want to keep growing, I need to accept everyone that I meet. And that's the best thing I could have ever done. So many amazing people, so many people that I will not be here if it's not because of them. And it's all around the world. You know, at the end of the day, FGC is, is one big family. And the reason I am who I am is because I'm part of it. That's what's up. Men of RD, much up, love man. and respect to you, brother. One more time, if we can make some noise, guys, hype it up and everything. Yo, hey, <laughs> Capcom making sure that we have a $2 million prize pool. This is amazing to see just how far we've come. We know where we started. And now the group of death, group F, we know who made it out. LaShawn and Mena RD. Wow. It's a movie. Talk, and we have more that? phenomenal Capcom wow. Cup X action, Capcom Cup 10 specifically going on right now. Let's go ahead and send it up to our commentators. Wow. And Rob spoiled the surprise because I was going to show that right now. But group F, the death group, right? Mena and LaShawn are the only two that made it out. Holy shit. We're about to cover the highlights right here. As always, chapters down below or the links down below so you can see the full broadcast because this is just highlights. It's going to be compact, right? We're not going to make it too long-winded, but here we go. Let's get it. The A, man. He's throwing a lot of projectiles. A little Shadow Kid go to level two off the versus uh, spike, Joe Umarogan. Compare, he's still got the CA, bro. I'm scared for you. Oh, a little bit too early on the throw. Joe beats him to the punch when he tries to press something else. Umarogan going 2-0. Damn. Start group at I don't know if Shadowkin won one Joel match. I, I, I think he like. Over Shadowkin to start the day. Look, you see the Shindy attempt. I mean, he won some rounds, obviously, but as far as like the match, I don't think he won once. Kawano reached with a crouch medium kick, and Kawano is in top 16 of Capcom Cup 10. That's what's up. Moving on in the bracket. Moving I mean, top I, I'm sad. I'm not going to lie. That crossover didn't make it because I was going for him as well. Kawano, good eight squads. Oh. Damn, Kawano doing the damn thing. Here go Big Bird, y'all. Drive impact is up the right here. No way out because of the meter. And that's going to do it. 2-0. Four straight rounds. Big Bird trying to make it in a top 16 on Sunday. Damn, man. So Big Bird, dude, he, he didn't get there, right? But hold on. Air knuckle combo right into it. Beast now he's versus mode, Chris Wong. Clean things up. Headphones coming off. Two to one for Chris Wong here over Big Bird. And still Damn. an electric set. I wanted, right to, there, I wanted man. Big Bird to Big win too. Bird, that was a part of the goal. Big guys, Bird. make some noise for Big Bird right there, man. One of my favorite players to watch. You know I'm a fan. Big of Bird is my favorite of the birds. No hate to Angry, Big Bird. Yeah, but I like Big kind Bird. Of situation here. Okay. Knuckle do. Now just needs to get one more hit. And again, oh. this will give him four wins, and that pretty Damn, much means man, he, he is guaranteed dirty. to get to the other side. Damn. He is guaranteed to make it into the top 16 at this point. Knuckle do is 3-1, so he still has to win his final match in order to make it out, and that will be against Dookie later on today. Uh, dance in there, I love stop. it. Here goes yeah. Knuckle again. He's against Look Dookie. This is the one they were just Dookie talking about. Combo right there, set up right into the assault. Oh, Ooh, the interruptions! Oh, Get that tornado shit out of here. Oh yeah, you're getting hit by that. Look at this aggression suddenly. Woo! Gonna land the level three. Not gonna quite kill. But again, putting Dookie in the burnout situation, this is not gonna look pleasant. So Nakadu is gonna take his time. Yeah, that's zero, and he didn't try to trade. Knuckle two. Get out of here! Shut it down. It he did Dookie. not take his time. He went straight As for the kill. Knuckle two was already safe. So Knuckle's in, right? He's in. Game. He's that's in top all he sixteen. To do, so it didn't matter if Dookie had won that one. Knuckle do twenty-seven. Okay. It's three-two in the pool with Knuckle do and everybody else. Wait, wait, wait. I swear, when I first saw Knuckle do, he yeah, was probably Bruno like seventeen. 16, he was so young, man. You may have gotten hyped, but you need to get hyped for me, baby. 
Beast Coast own. I shouldn't say Beast Coast. My bad. Beast. Oh, this is Fudo. Fudo's been killing. Fudo, Fudo has been dominating. He's scary, man. That Ooh, DJ is scary. Oh, with punish. That could have been big. Nero the boxer. Ending walker. Real close. Ending the walker. Ending walker. In burnout. This is not looking good. Lots of chip on the table, but he spins it all. Baits the whiff. That's going to be Nero the boxer. 2-0 over ending walker. And that is a big statement. And like I said, I saw when he was walking My up. Man. He's got the maracas with him. My man brought some instruments. Shows a little love to ending walker. And like I said before, Nero the boxer told me. He's like, look, you're going to see how good I am when it all is on the line to the wall wake up level two what a stretch in the parry big damage on the table level three and if this is not gonna be dropped Nero oh this has been RD cashes his ticket he's going to the big dance a Capcom Cup mm. and the money is flowing they go the off they pop it off Shout out to he said give me the maracas bitch Gets the flag it's my turn give it to me I'll see you all on Sunday for my man. third attempt, another DR man. It's like all DR. He, he brought the whole DR. DR. They all in the it audience. Not only two time, but three time like I said, they partying. They got pinatas out there. They firing tomales out. Well, that's what we eat anyway. Look, they got the money to the ear. <laughs> He's like ear the money. The money talking to me. He said money talks, baby. Meta, I love the hype, man. I love the passion. Oh, this is problem X. Okay, oh, that was counter hit too. That's gonna the up. level mm. three. Jesus Christ! Problem Exua. I didn't even know Problem Raging X had it like that. Food. Like with her, I mean. Oh my God! Let's you God. know the state that problems is. With some Lily, I didn't know he had it like that. To play around on the final day, he's doing what he can. It's necessary to get the dubs, and he beats both South African representatives here at Cap. Hang on a minute. Ooh, oh Travis God. Style they versus Kusanagi. And then he's no still way. trying to run away. He still hasn't. Oh, he's all you guys. <laughs> Damn. Talk to me, Janners. Talk to me, bro. What does he have in the tank left? What does he have? Listen. Yo, we're going to talk about Kusanagi coming up here next. He Check it out. Of his time Trust me. He said I could do better. It will work when I need it to. Oh, Capcom Cup champions. All right, so you see the results here. Again. Group A, Phenom. Uh, still dominant, 4 1. The side. Crossover, 3 2. Shadow Walker. King, yeah, uh, 0 again, 5. What an amazing time. And then Group B, Big Bird, 3 2. Year, but again, Despair King, he played Destroy. Well in a lot of matches. Yeah, he actually had some of the most five. Wow. hype matches and entertaining Group C, the group stage. No, can do 4 1. That's what's up, man. Dookie, 2 3, Fandroid, 0 5. He could look forward Gacha to Kun four one and L four one. There. We'll find out about uh, that. Sien G, doing the damn thing five right. oh. Fudo doing the damn thing four one. Snake Eyes I three two. Right. I did say safe, but I thought he was gonna move out from the winner side. But Uma proved me like dead right now. Talks and vicious. What we got? We got Fino going up against two. Chris. Okay, so here's here's gonna be top sixteen right here. Sunday followed by DCQ and Gacha Kun. Fino Chris Wong. Then after that. Sien versus Ashar. Ooh, oh juicy. Then, course, That's winners. Uma and Kusanagi. And then. Damn, man. We go down. Oh, Damn, do you know man. What? Yeah. Let's look at this. Kawana, loser side. Oh, Nephew, loser God. side. Knuckle do going up oh. against NL. Hell. Beast Fudo going up against oh. Mena RD. Someone has to go home early. God. Uh. And then, oh, wow. What? The Midwest guys. No. Canada, kind of the U.S. Midwest. What the hell? Does that count? I mean, it's still Canada. That's uh. Do, does Midwest? That's technical insane. Yeah. Were, were they in the CPT online together? They yeah, were, weren't yeah, they? Yeah. yeah. So safe has to go up against still Kev. Oh, wow, y'all. Kid. Wow. Fucking Mena has to go up against Fudo, the fucking beast. Right off the bat, one of those guys got a dip. That's fucking crazy. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared because I'm going for Mena. I'm not gonna lie. I'm going for Mena. I like Fudo too, but I'm going for Mena. Um, shit, and I want Knuckle to win, and he's a loser as well. Man, it's a lot. It's a lot. I like Sien. I want Sien to win as well. Um, you know, he's doing the damn thing. Nephew, nephew. How many of y'all saw nephew going all the way through, right? Um, who else we got? Let me go back there. Phenom. I'm not going to front. I didn't think Phenom would get this far. Like I said, no disrespect to Phenom. I think he's a great player, but... If he went through, I thought he would be on Losers. Man, the dude is kicking some ass. So, you know, big up to him. And with that being said, it is all going down tomorrow. 
We will cover it. Either we're going to release a butt check tomorrow night after it happens or Monday early morning. Either way, oh, it's getting hot. How y'all feeling? Let me know. All right, next up for them. That is not esports appropriate, Mr. Kusanagi. Take off that damn shirt. Buttons that need to be checked. So you guys are probably confused right now. But look, okay, so I was tagged in this, and I want to big up. I'll, I'll mention them in a second here. But apparently, y'all know Kusanagi. Remember just now, I said we'll talk about him in a second. Um, qualified for top 16. Uh, from Mexico, right? Profile on the screen, link down below, check him out. Apparently, uh, he was, uh, you know, wearing a shirt when he first went on, right? Apparently, it was like a, a Ohegao shirt. It's supposed to be like extremely, I guess, sexual. I, I wasn't familiar at all, trust me. I'll catch you up to speed because I'm gonna play a clip to break it down. But before, we have some people um, posting about it, right? At Gun uh, Go Untro, if I'm saying that correctly, posted this right here, right? They said, uh, Kusanagi walking on stage with the Ohegao shirt made me physically recoil but they forced him to change it lol right and then i get tagged in the story right here so big up j star man i appreciate the love now fgc starts reacting reacting some people are pissed they're like honestly should have been disqualified or thank god that's not funny no way others are like core value strikes again goes a little deeper right here with people saying cowards right so others adding i notice right here um actually retweeting it Basically saying, hey, that's not esports friendly, Kusanagi. There you go, esports legal. And you see the shirt right there, I guess, that they made him change into. Kusanagi actually retweets this, basically just laughing, right? <laughs> so this is where we're going to break it down before we uh, start to unpack this, right? So somebody by the name of the Pomeranian Prince, I'll put their information down below. Definitely check them out. They posted a video real quick, right? Because I was like, what the hell is the deal with this shirt? And why are so many people pissed off? Let's check out the clip. I have seen at least three people wear the Ahegao shirt. One Ahegao. of them even wore leggings. Again, I would like to emphasize that this was done in broad daylight at an all ages convention the gizmo. with a bunch of children present. For those unfamiliar, Ahegao is a term used in hentai to describe a character's face during sex. Characteristics include a protruding tongue, eyes being rolled up, and flushed skin. So what's the problem with wearing a Hegao shirts in public, especially at conventions? I just want you to bring your ears closely to this sentence. Just come closer. 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 It's a fucking convention where kids are present. I shouldn't have to okay. spell that out, but my god, the excuses that could come out of y'all's mouths is pretty astounding. And before anyone starts, I am not a prude, nor do I think that sex is inherently wrong. I am also a degenerate, perverted weep who likes hentai and is down to experiment. <laughs> that is not a problem. The problem is that you're wearing porn in a public area and all ages event. Okay. There you go, there's the breakdown right there. Like I said, for the full video, check the link down below and check out their YouTube channel. And how do you say that name? It was Ohegao, Ahegao, I feel like I'm saying it. Ahegao, let me say it again. Okay, Ahegao, okay, Ahegao. I had no idea what the hell Ahegao was, right? And I was confused because they were saying porn, they kept saying porn, I'm like, where's the porn? I just see somebody's, oops, sorry about that. Where's the porn? I just see somebody's face, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm confused. So I guess it has the roots. Um, it's basically your old face, right? It's the old face that people make. They roll the eyes, stick out the tongue. It's your old face that we say here in the States. You know what I'm saying? But there, it's uh, Ohega, something like that. And I guess the powers that be at Cap Cup saw that, said, no, playboy, <laughs> you got to change the damn shirt. How y'all feeling about that? Some people saying cowards shouldn't have been done. Other people are like, you know, core values or no, he should have been disqualified. That. I gotta be real, that takes kind of wild, right? To disqualify. I could understand if it was just like straight pornography or like, you know, like a child porn, something that had its roots in like something really fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Then you gotta have a talk with somebody. I don't know how you do that. I'm not the powers to be, you know what I'm saying? But as far as to raise a fuss like this, just with that, I don't know. Like I said, I'm only going off from what I just learned right now. You know what I'm saying? So basically all I know is that it's supposed to represent the O-Face. You know what I'm saying? Ah, hey, guy, oh, hey, guy. You know, so I, I guess the powers that be saw that, said you gotta change it on stream, which I get that much. I just didn't know it was all that serious. It looks like Kusanagi has a good sense of humor about it. How y'all feeling? 
let me know. That it is, ladies and gents. Definitely let me know how you guys are feeling. Thank you guys for the amazing love, man. Patreons, we got a new video coming out. Uh, I want to drop it tonight, so I really hope you guys enjoy that. Um, we got a lot. There's a lot. Like I said, first million, million dollar uh, FGC Street Fighter player ever going to be crowned tomorrow. That's going to be exciting. I got my picks. I know y'all got yours, so we're going to cover it best we can. We got a lot coming up. So, yeah, I'm out of breath. Anyway, <laughs> as always, we'll see you tomorrow. I'm not even going to say we'll see you soon because you already know it's going to be sometime tomorrow. But with that being said, I love y'all forever. I don't know what it is, but I know it's about to get better. And I love y'all forever, like I just said. Peace. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe. You Man, you look, you got to just appreciate the support that Mena has, right? He got the whole family, everybody. I've never seen that. Even Rob was like, well, I don't think we've ever seen this type of support. You know why? Because we got a Spanish champion. Spanish people, y'all know how we roll, man. We pack, we roll in groups. He got his mamas, like I said, his tias, his uncles, his nephews, his nieces. They got the fire grill. They got a damn taco truck outside. They on the grill. They got a piñata hanging. They hitting. They got candies falling. It's all kinds of stuff because that's how Spanish people roll. And when Mena wins this million dollars, oh, shit. It's tacos and burritos for everybody. Everybody get a damn fucking elotes and hot cheetos with cheese and tres leches and pan dulce. Well, that's at least what Mexicans eat. Anyway, it's going to be a damn party and I'm for it. I'm for it. Shit, save me a plate.